rabbit hides are doing pretty well. Uh, we've got lots of them now. We've made only two hats and uh, it's time to make more things with them. Uh, I can imagine rabbit jackets or rabbit covers. Oh, that'd be decadent. That would, oh, it should be so warm in a rabbit uh, with rabbit covers, comforter. Here's the uh, skins in progress. This is with the tannino powder or tannin powder. And uh, the powder looks like uh, this stuff in here. Yeah, it's kind of just a, a powder. It's made from a bark of the mimosa tree. Uh, what I'd really like to do is uh, use instead the oak trees. And uh, uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I guess you use the, the newest part of the tree, the new growth. And I definitely don't want to be stripping the bark off the trees because I don't want to kill the trees. Um, there might be a way to sustainably harvest. I don't know. We'll see. Other byproducts of uh, rabbits are the skulls. You notice I've got a little collection of skulls here. We killed 19 rabbits for a big party in town. And what I did is, uh, is I took all those uh, heads, the head, rabbit heads, put them in a bucket with holes in the sides, and then stuck the bucket in the rabbit in the chicken coop. And so maggots came and ate the flesh off the skulls. Those maggots became food for the chickens. And then we, we left it there a long time because I was afraid to open it up. I thought it might be kind of gross. But I think we waited like three, four months at least. And now uh, they're perfectly clean. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with a bunch of rabbit skulls, but uh, you can see their little sharp teeth and, and they have the, the lower jaw here with uh, little teeth. So we'll find out uh, if these have any use at all. I do want to make sure I use all the parts of the rabbit and the heads have been uh, the part that's been hardest to figure out what to do with them. Uh, oh, here in the studio we've also got some, uh, this is the native anise, anise? and we can make a tea with that. So we're gonna dry it. It's in season right now and it's, it's around for a few months. So we wanna collect enough uh, during this time of the year and then dry it so that we have tea for the entire rest of the year. Uh, here we've got lots of other seeds we're collecting. Uh, some pomegranates in here and various lettuce greens. Uh, if we do a good job collecting these, then, then uh, we should be able to plant a lot next year. Here's some uh, calabasa or squash. Uh, other things in the studio that are kind of interesting today, uh, we were digging out that, that kitchen spot up there to make the oven, and we discovered a, a kind of dirt clod that's different than the others. It's, it's, much, uh, it's kind of almost a purplish tone, and you can actually use it to draw, kind of. Uh, so we'll, we'll wet that and use it as a paint in the cave, because uh, people like to, to do cave painting.